pick something to sing over, get that, and then is your Martin here? Time to click. Uh, I think we can pick up the Martin. So now we've got the uh, song structure and um, a click in the form of a superior drummer loop in place. Um, I need to. We need to start uh, building the melodic elements. Lauren doesn't want to do the piano first. She wants me to do the acoustic guitar. So it's my problem to make sure that the fundamental um, rhythm of the song uh, is done correctly. So hopefully I won't mess that up too much. Please make sure to pick up the fact that Al has literally not changed his strings in... Don't break my strings, man. 20 years? If I have to, if I have to replace one, I have to replace them all. Yeah. Out of pocket is, is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love about that is that, you know, so many people are fussy about new strings and the guy who runs the million dollar studio in downtown Manhattan, no thanks. Old strings work for me. That's why I have good mics. <laughs> exactly. Okay, we got this Neumann mic N149. We're going to use this on the voice, I'm pretty sure. But I'm kind of curious about trying it on this acoustic instrument. I'm going to start my here right where the neck meets the body of the guitar. Lord knows you don't want to miss the body. Not a sweet, don't want to miss the body. body. The like body this. is really... <laughs> Miking the guitar right here, for starters, is sort of a best of both worlds. You're going to get the, the stringiness of the neck, and you'll get some of the body of the guitar here, but you won't get the boom. You know, if I put the mic right here, I'm going to get a lot of low end and kind of a boomy sound. I don't really want to get that as much. Then I'm going to roll off about 80 hertz for starters. So I don't get any low rumbles, but I still got some warmth. A low frequency roll off, also often called a high pass filter, is an electronic EQ filter that lets high frequency signals pass through, but attenuates or rolls off lower frequencies. Higher end mics like this Neumann have a selectable cutoff frequency point. In particular, this mic attenuates signals below your selected frequency at a fixed ratio of minus 3 dB per octave. One of the interesting things to me is that you can do something like that in an EQ plug-in, for example, uh, even as you're going in, or you can take care of it on, on the back end, um, but doing it here just saves you hassle down the road. Yeah, plus this much more costly roll-off is probably going to sound better than the software version. And the way it affects the processing down the road through the preamp and everything is also affected by the quality of the sound that comes in to begin with. So if we lose some of the low end to begin with here, it means our preamp is going to react a little bit. Okay, so we got a tube mic out there, and we're going to put it through this tube Mic Pre, Avalon 737. Every mic needs a preamp to take the mic signal and bring it up to a loud enough signal that you can record it into a recording device. So that's what an Avalon does. In addition, there's a compressor inside it, which reduces the overall dynamic. So in this tune, there's soft parts like this, and then there's loud parts where you're just really pumping it. And the compressor in here is going to be used to bring those two together into a more consistent volume level. If we were taking more time, we might actually cut the two parts separately with different settings. But I'm going to see if we can get away with one pass. Quick tip on recording. Um, the first time you're about to get a feed and someone else is running it, or even if you're running it, um, make sure to put your cans off of your ear because half the time the volume comes through and, and blows out one ear. So you start here and then slowly move it on. So we'll take it from the top? Yep. Compression is a little more than I bargained for, so I'm gonna ease off on that a little bit. Lengthen the release time so it doesn't sound as obvious. <laughs> 